Hello everyone, Matt here and welcome to another showcase video. Now our first showcase video was the Fairytale Guild Box Edition. The link will be in the description below. Keeping in theme with the uh, Fairytale series, uh, we're on to our second showcase video being the Sume High Quality Statue plus Natsu Dragon Slayer. Uh, the statue is limited to 777 pieces. We received 489. The description on the Sume Art website goes as follows. The young mage of the Fairytale Guild is now adapted into a one half scale at the side of his foster parent, the fire dragon, Igneal. The legend says dragons have disappeared on July 7th, X 777, but the soul of Igneal actually slept within Natsu's body until the time had come for him to fight the dragon Acnologia. Igneal was the one who taught Natsu the fire dragon slayer magic, so he decided to represent them together while Natsu is getting ready to strike at his enemies with a fire punch. This statue pays tribute to the bond that unites the young man and his mentor through a dynamic pose and a fine realization. An LED light system lights up the flames on the base and the dragon's eyes. The realis realization of this statue was born from the perfection combination between digital and traditional sculpting. Nats when the flames were made in 3D, while Igneal was sculpted traditionally, each scale made one by one. The pain work aimed to find the smooth feeling of the anime while working on subtle gradients. This is one of the most ambitious Sume creations and has involved over 15 people in the process. So because uh, we didn't actually have instructions on how to set up the, the figure in the model, um, we did have to uh, uh, put together a lot of it, including the base, um, downstairs and then we had to move it upstairs into the figure room um, and put the rest of the uh, the remaining pieces together there it's an incredibly large and heavy figure the website does list it as 56 kilograms i don't know if that is accurate to the point of when you finally receive it and they've made the actual final changes and checks i think the website does have estimated size and weight of the uh, the statue itself it's incredibly detailed all the scales, the flames. So what you can see now is a selection of images that uh, the Perfect Sky took uh, for this uh, showcase. And it just shows you the detail on this uh, this statue, uh, the ignal, the scales, the mouth, if you look at the tongue there and the sharp teeth, you see the detail on the inside. You've got the flames coming out from the flaming breath and the flames surrounding the statue itself. And we've got Natsu in there for the attack with his fire fists. Just such a high quality uh, and, and detailed figure. You can have the Natsu statue as a single statue alone. You know, if you created your own stand and base. Um, the jacket alone for Natsu, I didn't actually realize this in the anime. Um, that they are skulls on his jacket. I didn't know it's the color scheme either, but I really do like it. I guess in a... a comparing thing it's kind of similar to uh, Zoro from One Piece like where he's got like the biker looking jacket uh, jacket on it's really nice and detailed the 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 belt the belt buckle that you see in yeah, many of the images is actually a separate little like item that are uh, like little uh, accessory that you have to clip in there it's not actually default by the statue uh, default on the uh, the little Natsu figure itself there um, you can see the, the detail on, on Natsu, you know, not only has got like his muscles on the abs, he's got like the scarring around the neck and then on the chest as well. As you can see from the image on screen, we have a comparison. We have the Lucy, Hathelia and Aquarius uh, Sume figure. And then we also have the Natsu Dragon Slayer uh, statue there. You can see in, in terms of size and scale, like this is a large figure. It's the largest one we've ever purchased and um, it's so big it won't fit on our shelving you can actually see one of the heights of the shelving there if you look to the right you can see a little met metal sonic figure there um, that can fit uh, Lucy on there perfectly um, but the Natsu Dragon Slayer is actually like two shelving worths and because of the size and the weight it would destroy the shelving it's not a high quality shelving that's, that's sturdy enough to withstand the weight there but Again, yeah, just a, a comparison there. You can see the size difference. Um, if you are interested in seeing a, a, a showcase uh, uh, on the Lucy Hat, uh, Hatfield or uh, an Aquarius uh, figure, then please do let me know in the comments down below. Looking at the front here, you don't really see it, but there is the, the Fairytale uh, Guild 
um, uh, symbol here that again is a magnet it just kind of uh, locks in place on the base there you might have heard a little click we also this is the other cool thing but because my statue is at the moment on the floor because it would absolutely break through my uh, um, my figure figure casing and tower uh, which will be showcased at a later date so it does come with this little like uh, stand you can see, I, I'm, I'm hoping you can kind of see if I put my hand there, if we kind of put it against some, uh, maybe some black there. Um, you, hopefully you can see that it does say Sume. Um, and that's it, uh, engraved on the inside. And then I won't take it out of the packet just to put it back in the packet. But hopefully you can see it comes with a, um, it's quite weighty it's a heavy bit of a uh, um, metal or whatever material it may be and again you got the sume logo at the top sume you got the fairy tale logo there you got uh, uh, natsu dragon slayer natsu and the dragon and then further down high quality statue plus and then number 489 out of 777 so the idea is there that it won't stand in right now because i've got the, got the plastic on but the idea is you have it leaned on there, it slots in, and then you would have that somewhere, you know, near the statue itself. Um, and then obviously on viewing, you can see and you're like, okay, that's the number and that's the, uh, that's what, that's what we're showcasing. That's what we're showing off. So to sum up my uh, uh, thoughts on the uh, Nasu Dragon Slayer statue, without making it too much of a lengthy video, I really do uh, love this uh, statue. I would easily say it's my favorite. It's because of the grand scale of it, the size of it, uh, and the combination of both Natsu and Igneal there. The quality and the detail, um, it, it's just so good. I do have to criticize the fact that it is an expensive statue, but I do think that um, it, it is justified by the size. It was a high budget item, like a high cost, um, and it's not something that I would regularly spend on a single item like that. Um, so it's almost like a one-off purchase, you could say, or a one-off thing. This isn't something that I would do on a regular basis. Um, but overall, it's just a fantastic figure, a uh, statue. It'll go really nice with Lucy Hartfield uh, figure, even with the size difference. Um, but I do uh, love everything about it. And with the, uh, with the, um, the light up feature uh, with the flames and the eyes. If I did have unlimited electricity and funding, I would have this on the lights on like probably the majority of the time in my uh, you know my figure room. There, the lights would be off, and then the flames would light up and the eyes glowing. Um, but again, I do love the the figure so much. Um, and uh, with that, we are actually going to end the uh, showcase here. If you do want to see more videos like this, please do let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think of the, uh, the, the, the the statue itself and about how this video is. It took a lot of time to make and produce um, and I'm hoping it paid off. So please do let me know what you think below. I do want to give a special thank you to the Perfect Sky for uh, getting a, a wide range of uh, uh, screenshots here and videos and along for helping with some of the editing um, and the uh, the scheduling of getting this video produced. So thank you again Perfect Sky for all your help throughout this. I really do appreciate it. it these videos couldn't be done without you. If you liked the video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you disliked the video, please feel free to give it a thumbs down. Um, but until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.